I put a spell on you. And now you're mine. You can't stop the things I do. I lie. Oh, it's been 300 years. Right down to the day. Now the witch is back. And there's hell to pay. I put a spell on you. And then I Welcome back to my channel. I see my spell worked. <laughs> well, seriously, thank you guys for coming by for a spell. This is Jacob Hexa. You guys may know this. Wow, he's talking a little bit weird. A little bit weirder than normal. <laughs> and see, because I got these ladies in there. My liberty. So, I guess I'm going to Anderson. And the witch is back. 320 uh, some years. look of what you mean, but not the final video. A sister video is going to come out the same day. So after this video, make sure you go check that one out for a little Samus and sister video. <laughs> a hocus bonus, if you will. Alright you guys, so I had a lot of fun doing this look. I actually recorded this three times, just like 300 years. Felt like 300. So, without further ado, Alright, so first we're going to start off by doing our prosthetic nose. This step is really optional. I just kind of wanted to do it to add a little umph to this. It's not movie accurate at all. This is just kind of a creative decision I decided to make. Go ahead, get the overall shape, and then start to smooth it. I made my nose a little bit crooked just because, I don't know, isn't it like kind of witchy to be that way? <laughs> Alright, so after completely smoothing it, go ahead and start to paint on thin layers of latex. I did about six. Alright, now we're going to start in on those eyebrows. One of the main things about Winifred is that she doesn't have any, so we're going to really need to secure those down to the face. I take some spirit gum and brush it through the eyebrows just to get them really flat down. Alright, now we're going to take our glue stick and go upwards to fill in between those eyebrow hairs. After that, we're going to set it with our MAC Studio Fix Foundation, or any full coverage powder foundation, and do a few layers of the upwards motion with the glue stick. Alright, I did about four layers. If you have thin eyebrows, you probably only need about two. Now, we're going to go side to side with the glue stick, just to get even further in between those cracks and ridges. And again, set it with your full coverage powder foundation. All right, and now I'm straight up taking a butter knife and spackling some of that glue in between those last final cracks and holes in the eyebrows. And of course, let that dry. And then we're going to set it with our powder foundation. So now we're going to attach the nose and I just use some spirit gum spirit gum gets tacky once you pat it so just pat it and then stick on the prosthetic adhesive I mean piece and then you're gonna want to let it dry a little bit before moving on to the next step Alright, so now we're going to paint some latex around the edges of the nose just so that it blends into our actual skin. After you do that, set it with the powder foundation. 
Now we're going to prime our face. I'm using Benefit Professional. You can use your favorite primer, it doesn't matter. Try to avoid the eyebrows and the nose. Now I'm going in with a foundation of my choice. This one is Anastasia Stick Foundation. And we're gonna paint all over everywhere except our eyebrows and our nose because you really want a liquid for that area. Now I'm taking Double Wear and just blotting it with a beauty blender over my nose and eyebrows. Look at how seamless that nose looks. I was kind of shook. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna take some concealer or any brightening cream like product and go in the high points of my face. All right, we're gonna take our Anastasia Cream Contour Kit and we're gonna brighten even further with the brightest banana shade that they have on mine. Winifred is pretty pale, so I was going for that look. We're going to lightly contour. You can go kind of heavy on the nose, but on the cheek and stuff, don't go too heavy just because she's not really that contoured. Alright, so now we're going to take our Shape Tape again, or any concealer of your choice, or eye base, and we're going to prime our eyelids. And now we're going to just bake the whole face with a translucent powder. Alrighty, so now we're going to dust that off, and we're going to start to bronze to bring some color back to the outside of our face really avoid doing this to the inside of the face so you can still be pale and washed out like Winifred alrighty so now we're gonna start on our eyes I'm taking my TARDIS Pro palette and I'm taking an orangey brown and starting that off in the crease now I'm starting to go in with a darker brown just to deepen it up and after the darker brown, I take a straight up gray color. I take that dark brown and gray mixed together and go underneath my eye with it. I'm taking a frosty tan color and just applying it lightly over my eyelids. It, did, it doesn't need to be super shimmery, it just needs to stand out against the rest of your eye look. Now I'm painting on a thin line of eyeliner with my TARDIS paint eyeliner. Alright, and I didn't record this, but I did put some white in my waterline with your choice of white eyeliner. Alright, now we're going to conceal our lips and powder them and go over with a red lip liner. Go for that small Victorian lip shape that um, Winifred does. Now we're gonna go in with some blush, and you can go pretty heavy-handed. I decided to not go quite as heavy-handed as the movie, but you definitely wanna know that the blush is there. Now I took some Better Than Sex mascara and I put it on. And for the final teeth. You can't really tell that much because I couldn't get them to be bucked the way that Winifred's are, but I think they're pretty funny. Now I'm going to put the wig on in the costume, and I'll be right back. Alright you guys, so this is the final look. Uh, I had so much fun doing this. This is possibly my favorite witch character. Uh, top favorite. I also like Yubaba from Spirit Away, who I am thinking of doing a video soon, so... Mm, subscribe. <laughs> If you liked it, let me know. If you didn't like it, that's okay. Y'all know it was good either way. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video, and if you like my videos, don't forget to click that bell button. And I'm saying that as if you're already subscribed, because if you're not, you should. And if you haven't, and kama koreyama. <laughs> well, thank you for tuning in, stopping by for a spell, and don't forget to leave some suggestions in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I already did the spell, so I think you all did. I will see you next time.
Toodaloo and Jenny.